Yo, how you doing? I'm Dr. Fix-It, this is the Dr. Fix-It Show. And on the Dr. Fix-It Show, Dr. Fix-It shows you how to fix it. Now, full disclosure, I don't actually have all that much experience fixing things. I got my doctorate studying Byzantine dialects. I'm pretty sure they only gave me the show because of my name, Dr. Harvey Fix-It. Still, learn by doing, right? Okay, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this old phone. And you see right away, the problem with it is it, um, it, uh, it don't make calls anymore. So, uh, we gotta figure out why. And, uh, maybe the problem is, well, maybe it's the cord, you know? Uh, there's a reason they stopped making phones with cords. Maybe the cords just needs to be replaced. So, uh, I don't see a new one around here, but, um, we can make one. We can make one out of, uh, dental floss. You know, dental floss, that's long and stringy, and we can just, uh, get a bunch out there and stick it in. You know, that's probably not going to work. That's probably a stupid idea. Well, maybe the problem's not the cord. Maybe the problem is uh, inside the base of the phone here. So, uh, if we could get this... Ah! See, uh, it's uh, screwed on there. So, if we could get this bottom off, I know I saw a screwdriver around here somewhere. Uh, ah! Here we go. One screwdriver. And, um... Now, why isn't that fitting? Oh, I see the problem here. See, uh, this is one of those screwdrivers that uh, looks like a little plus sign, and uh, the screws have the shape of a little uh, minus sign, or a negative charge, as they call it. So, um, it doesn't seem to be the right kind of screwdriver anywhere around here. Well, uh, before man used tools, they just uh, used their bare hands to uh, put things together and take them apart. My hands don't really fit in there, but maybe a fingernail could go... Oof. Okay, that, um, that hurt a little more than I expected. Um, well, um, there's plenty of other tools here. One of them's gotta work. We got, uh, pliers. That's what these things are called, right? Just get it in there and get some leverage. That, uh, can't believe that's not working. Or we can use... I don't know what the hell this thing is. What is this, like a weird-ass pizza slicer? Man, this thing just keeps going, doesn't it? Oh! Sorry, Steve! I got it open! I got it open! Okay, get... Are you kidding me?! Why is there a doorknob? What possible use could that have? Okay, yeah, I, I, I guess if you're fixing the door, but... Somebody want to give me a hand? What do you mean the union won't let you come on camera? Ow. Okay, so um, we can just keep tapping at it until it loosens. Uh, that's going to take a while. Uh, or we can smash it against the... It's just gonna break it more, isn't it? <sighs> Look, we're pals, right? Okay, here's the thing. Look, my wife just got laid off. We got a two-year-old kid, another one on the way. I can't afford to lose this job. So if anybody asks, we fixed this phone. You with me? Good. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this duct tape and my cell phone, and we are going to just get that around there and there, see? It works. You can push buttons, you can make calls, it's all good. Join us next time when we look at a car engine. Until then, I'm Dr. Fix-It. This is the Dr. Fix-It Show. If it's broke, call Fix-It.